Hey, it's Gloria. I know. So I wanted to come on here really quickly because I got this question a lot today. I was like, whew, okay, I got to talk about this question. I got to talk about this question. How do you attract ambitious people? Okay, so that underlining people. Okay, calm down, Gloria. If this is your first time hearing from me, how you doing? My name is Gloria Mayfield Banks. I'm a success strategist. Really? I love taking people from ordinary to extraordinary. Really? I deal with people who are ambitious and capable, yet stuck and frustrated. And most of them are women entrepreneurs or women entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs means you work for someone else, but you got creative, phenomenal ideas and you're ambitious. Entrepreneur means you work for you. Oh my goodness. So I was thinking about this because so many people were asking me, what does that talk about stars enabled? I don't understand that stars enabled. Somebody have to explain it to me. But I wanted to come on here and I wanted to talk to you guys about attracting ambitious people to you. This is so important to understand when you're building a strong team. Yes, yes, the power huddle has been taking off. My Facebook group, The Power Huddle, where women are clearly in there because they want to be stronger, smarter, and more successful. You like that? Stronger, smarter, and more successful. I know I talk about it all the time. But if you're looking for that group, it's called The Power Huddle. And that group is women who are determined to grow and now. Okay, but for anybody out there who is interested in it or knows anyone that's interested in having a strong team, either because it's people that work for you, like I have a team at GMB that work for me, or I have a team that works with me, hello, and they're building strong teams as well. Hello. So I think that when you want to go further, you know, if you really want to go big, if you really want to go hard in the paint, like I talk about, you can't do it alone. Hi from Baltimore. Somebody's there from Baltimore. Now you guys know, I go back and read these comments. I go back and read these comments. So please leave me comments so I can go back and see them. I know. <laughs> Were you guys on today's show? I know. Talk radio. I know. We got issues. Were you on there? It was hilarious. We were talking about girl code. Tomorrow, Monday through Friday, 6 to 7 p.m. on 9, 10 a.m. The Superstation. Okay. And you can get it from an app or you can get it on iHeartRadio or you can watch it on Facebook. But... Really, we want you to call in, call in, call in, call in. Because tomorrow, when 24 hours ain't enough. I know I use that word, ain't. When 24 hours just isn't enough, what do you do? That's going to be Friday at 6 o'clock. I cannot wait. Okay, let's talk. Now, you are gonna might need a pen and paper because I'm going to give it to you hard really fast. Like, how do you attract ambitious people to you? Number one, you have to know that they're out there. You have to know there are enough out there. You have to know there's plenty. There's no way to attract ambitious people to you until you know there are plenty. Thank you about my necklace. I wore this intentionally. Juliana got it for me. My daughter, Juliana. If you have not seen her YouTube channel, you need to run to her YouTube channel. She is gifted. Juliana Mayfield. Or is it Face Forward? Anyway, you'll find her in a Juliana Mayfield. You totally will find her in a Juliana Mayfield. Yes, she's gifted. She's gifted. She's on YouTube. Gifted. Anyway, so you have to know there's plenty of them out there. Now, because I went to Harvard Business School, I was around a lot of ambitious women. And I was around a lot of ambitious women that knew a lot of ambitious women. So we knew there were a lot of ambitious women. So just take my word for it. There's a lot of ambitious women. Let me tell you what happened yesterday. I got an email from one of my ambitious girlfriends who went to Harvard Business School with me. And uh, we used to be housemates. That's a story for another time. But what you need to know is she told us that one of our um, classmates is running for mayor of New York. 
I know running for mayor of New York. Mm, mm, mm. Powerful people attract powerful people. And you become powerful when you attract powerful people. Let's be clear. We're here to attract. So number one, you have to know the rule that there are a lot there. Okay, so the other rule is I know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for and I can describe to anybody what I'm looking for. Can you describe what you're looking for? Me, I'm looking for ambitious women who want more and know they deserve it. Actually, I'm looking for confident, ambitious women who want more or want to grow into that confidence. They don't have to be that confident to begin with, but they have to know that they want more. I cannot grow you to desire you to have more, but I can build confidence if you want more. I mean, I'm like all over it. So that's really a, a big part because number three, you have to be able to tell everybody what you're looking for. I am so okay with telling people that I am looking for ambitious women who want more. I am so clear. I'm looking for ambitious women who are capable, but they're stuck and frustrated. And I want them to join me in my queendom at GloriaMayfieldBanks.com. I'll tell you from the ceiling, if you are ambitious and capable, but stuck and frustrated, you ought to be in my queendom with me. I mean, like for real, like this is not even a joke. I create thousandaires and millionaires. I keep telling people this, my new affirmation. I create winners and all I do is win. I mean, that, that's just the truth. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, attracting people to you. Are you ready? I am aware of the energy I give. And I am aware of the energy that other people give to me. And therefore, I am aware of the energy I choose to receive. Now, that's a very important statement. I choose to receive. Because that means I don't choose to receive everyone's energy. And so sometimes it's cut off. I'm choosing to be wise with my time. I'm choosing to be wise with my mentorship. I'm choosing to be wise with people who want to hear from me. And I'm okay if I'm not the one for you. I'm like so okay with that. So if you choose not to walk in your super badness all day long, if you choose not to be super bad all day long, that's your choice and it doesn't concern me. I'm okay with that. I love you just the way that you are. But for me, I am clearly building an unstoppable team of ambitious people who want to go further and want to learn how to get there. And it is such a priority for me because I believe that's my best gift to shift the community. I believe that's my gift to shift. Because I know what I'm I know what I want. I know how to articulate and describe it. I am not afraid to call for it. I am inviting other people to help me find them because I'm aware of my energy, because I'm aware of their energy. Are you with me? It makes a difference. And so that's a, a little piece, a snippet of what I teach in the queendom. A snippet of what I hope to give to you. A snippet of what I hope you choose to give to other people. It's my snippet. I'm so glad to see y'all tonight. I'm glad to see y'all tonight. I'm glad to see. I know. When I'm on the radio show, I'm like this. Because I hear music in my head all the time. I got energy for days on Blake. Oh, 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 okay. Tomorrow night, I'll be in Clubhouse. Have you guys heard of Clubhouse? Oh, my God. I don't know what the stars are. Are the stars like hearts? You guys, you got to leave me a message. Are the stars like hearts? Okay, so I was on Clubhouse today. It was so good. He talked about TikTok and how to do TikTok. And you know, I've done a couple TikToks, but I haven't done a lot of TikToks. But it was good. Tomorrow night at 7.15, after the radio talk show, I'm going to be over on Clubhouse. Radio, 6 to 7, Clubhouse, 7.15. I am all about taking people from ordinary to extraordinary. And if that would be you, 
Come on over with me. I'm looking for the thousandaires and the millionaires. It's time. Let's go. You're welcome. Talk to y'all later. Love you.